Hi everyone, my name is Julie Schlebier and today I am here at my friend Leslie's home. She's a realtor always, you know, looking to find the best home for one of her clients and I can absolutely say with certainty that this home just fits her and her family to a T. It is just stunning and the energy is wonderful already. Um, but as an acupuncturist, one of the other modalities that I use are vibrational tuning forks. And this is such a powerful way to connect to our cellular level of who we are and really help to renew and replenish the stress that we get held in our body, really moving forward from that uh, to a place of rebirth, renewal. And, you know, we can also put that energy into our homes. So cleaning homes, that's something I've done on my own for my home for many years. Um, and today I'm just so happy to be invited here and be on this journey with Leslie and her family towards seeing how they will grow and shift within their home. Hi everyone, I'm Leslie Cannon. I'm a real estate agent and I'm here with Julie today because I've just personally um, purchased and moved into a new home and so I'm allowing Julie to come into the space and work with the energy in our home to refresh, rejuvenate and create a clean canvas for me and my family to move forward and enjoy this home. And Julie's going to show us today by using many of her techniques. Um, Julie is, has been my acupuncturist for many years, so I look forward to seeing her as she goes through my home and shows me different techniques on how to clear the energy. So the goals today are, you know, first really to help clear any stagnant energy that, you know, isn't serving the place at all. So what we're going to do is use sage and we're going to go around and really just set the intention of bringing a clear new energy into the home, uh, like a blank canvas so that then for part three, we can start really working on what goals and intentions the family has for each of the rooms um, and matching that with the specific planetary frequency I feel is best for that area. So once we do sage, I am going to be using high frequency tuning forks. So this earth fork is just so balancing uh, and calming. It just allows for you know, growth and feeling calm, expansion of an environment, and really looking at having serenity and peace. So once we're done that, then I am going to be grounding with the points that I use with the low ohm and middle ohm fork. So this is the earth vibration. We're going to be doing this on everyone in the home. Um, not the dogs, but everyone else. We're just going to go and ground down the body so that they are able to then get the most from their environment. Uh, them being calm and grounded will allow for more of a clean space to look at bringing in new intentions and goals for each room. So once we do that with the middle ohms and then the lower ohms, we are going to then walk around and you know, really the goals here are uh, in the living space, bringing in vibrancy, creativity, and openness, uh, using the high frequency sun fork because it's so energizing and warm. So it's really going to create vitality and um, laughter and happiness and joy within the space. Uh, and really working with the tritone uh, fork, which is this one here. Looking at with the tritone, it energizes, lifts, and encourages uh, creative thought with anticipation for something unexpected in the future. So that's really exciting. Um, and it also does help create healthy DNA. Uh, we are also going to look at using Jupiter in the living space because this is all about abundance and the good things in life, expansion and growth. And we're also going to look at using Vesta, one of the goddess forks, um, to really help with creating a warm, comforting, almost motherly energy in the kitchen uh, as a wonderful space for everyone to gather, as most families do. And then going into the bedrooms, we're going to look at the high frequency zodiac and full moon. 
And something I did forget to mention actually is once we're done grounding the body uh, on everyone in the family, we're going to start with the new moon fork because this is all about new beginnings uh, and for, for potential again of the unknown in the future. So new beginnings are really one of the main things I think is an intention is this is a clean slate, new start. Um, and this also does help with any residual emotional stagnation. So that's going to be really exciting. Uh, and there'll be little snippets throughout the video of me going through with the different forks. Um, and then we're just gonna finish as well with the entrances with Mars as, you know, Mars energy is about that masculine energy, but also the warrior, the defender. Um, really, the other thing I love about this is doing that around the doors. It gives us courage to walk out with our head held high and with confidence going out into the world. So thank you so much for coming along this journey with myself and Leslie. So these are some of the tuning forks that we're going to use today. Lots of different colors and vibrations. And then we're also going to do some gems along with the essential oils. So it's time to ground. So this is part two, just to really help be in tune with what we're doing. I think it's important to all have that same vibration going through us. And just take some breaths in and out. So Leslie, how do you feel right now? How is the experience for you? Well, thank you very much, Julie, for coming and sharing your expertise in energy and tuning forks and 
everything wonderful that you've done here in my home today to clear the energy and make way for us to create our own. Um, I feel very refreshed, renewed. Wonderful. Um, light. Yeah, and it feels different. It does. Right? It feels it, it different. It certainly feels um, almost like a blank canvas where yeah. we can now start creating our own in this home. So oh, that's wonderful. Very appreciative to you for coming today. Thank you so much, Leslie. Oh, look who we have here. We've just cleansed the home. How are you feeling? Yeah, very relaxed. It was a lot of work today for the dogs. They really came around and just helped with the cleansing. So it's time for a little nap. Yeah, go to sleep. Good night. And look who I found over here. Now that is a tired face. I know, lots of work with the tuning forks. You guys were really helping out. Yeah, time for sleeps.